Hello everyone, this is Yoris Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary semi Lun Let's Play. We continue for episode 3 from turn 25 in the spring season of 296. So, we are at war with Sima Yong, a fellow playable 8 princes faction. He's the prince of Hejian, which is a relatively small commandery, and kind of goes to show you his status among the 8 princes. He's a minor prince. Uh, we have sort of a kingdom level princedom title, Prince of Zhao, a kingdom from the Warring State, or Sima Jiong, Prince of Qi, another kingdom from the Warring State. He just has a commandery level title. And his line goes back to Sima Fu, who's the younger brother of Sima Yi. Sima Yi is also one of eight sons, the second son. He would be our father. And Sima Fu was the third son, uh, the younger brother of Sima Yi. And he's not the son of Sima Fu, he's the grandson of Sima Fu. So that makes him technically our nephew. And we're going to teach nephew a lesson here. His general here is Zhang Feng, quite a notable general of this period. Uh, someone who grew up really poor, he's a peasant class. Worked his way up by being brave in the army, and eventually became one of the key generals for Sima Yong. Uh, he led the siege of Luoyang, which brought down Sima Ai, and he burned Sima Ai alive. So I personally don't like him very much. Uh, he also will eventually get killed by his own master, Sima Yong, who stopped trusting him uh, due to a plot by an enemy faction. Uh, I mean, Sima Yong flip-flopped quite a bit. When, historically, Sima Lun, ourselves, declared emperor, Sima Yong first decided to work for us as he rallied his troops and killed people who were trying to form an army to come attack us. And then, as he sent Zhang Feng to reinforce us, halfway along the trip, he heard that the enemy prince, in this case the coalition between Sima Jiong and Sima Ying, were much stronger than us. So he called back Zhang Feng and decided that, you know what, we're going to join these two princes and fight against us. And before they got to the battle, we were killed. So. He was considered the victorious side, had a little elevation of status, and eventually uh, was fighting Sima Yue, who he lost to, and then he's tried to flee west and end up getting killed. Now this battle here, not very easy. There is a siege bastion, so that means they built their military infrastructure building. Makes sense, because their military infrastructure building is their faction unique building. And it not only gives extra retinues and also siege weapons, I think the building itself gives income. Uh, makes the faction very strong, military focus, and taking their land very difficult. So I think it's a good thing we're fighting a war with them quite early on in the campaign, or else they have too much land, they build all of the high tier military infrastructure, and make taking them down even harder in the late game. So let's wipe them out here, and take down one of the Prince. We just revamped our army. So it's quite strong. Now, these bastions will have a siege weapon unless we can trick it to deploy at the wrong place. Or if we find a corner without a bastion, which does not seem possible. So we're going to have to do a bit of trickery. I'm going to use some of the trees to help us do that. This is the key. We turn off our will. Then we're just going to hide them out here for a little bit. Make sure they're hidden. And we just don't want them to deploy it there. So we're going to have to show something. But first, let's see what we don't need for this battle. We probably don't need this many spear guards. So that's what we're going to try to not hide. We'll save four here. And then we're going to send two to opposite corners. Now, it's likely they get bombarded. And uh, we might lose a few, but if I do a slant corner, maybe they can't hit us. And uh, we can also be close enough to the tree to retreat out of vision. To kind of save our unit from just getting hit by a trebuchet shot or a multi-bolt crossbow. It's probably a trebuchet shot. Then we're going to leave the other guy here. Similar deployment. Everyone else is hidden. Just making sure. Yep. And they put their siege weapon right there. Perfect. Hide. Hide them out of vision. Hide them out of vision. And we can proceed. We will walk our siege weapon out to right here. We also have the high ground, which is nice. 
looks like we're going to be destroying this, this, and this. Now that we have Flaming Shot, I think we can comfortably do that. Their armies are in the center because they don't know how we deployed, so they're playing a conservative by guarding the capture point, which is the right way to play it. What if we have a full army of stock and we just go for the capture point if they deploy outside? Alright, this is going to be our second group. We have a lot more tools this time. Oh, we don't want to crowd the path because that's going to make it slower for our siege weapon to walk out. Kind of want to show them that we're here so they will put their units on the wall and we can get some free kills with the siege weapon. I mean, the AI still cheats in that they know where most of our forces are and put the barricades at the right places, but at least at least the trebuchet does not follow, which is great. All right, it's going to take a little bit of time for that to get there. We have these that can go up and now tank the enemy archers, which should have less ammo because of our burn trait. So only 10 ammo on these archers, 8 on these, 10 on these, and we can just basically tank those shots. Now, because of how they're deployed, you can actually put them on the side. Some of those archers are going to be on this side just to answer our deployment, so even less threat. And then our crossbow goes in next to pick off any of the spear units, open up a gap, and then our cavalry can go in afterwards. So let's first take out the fort tower. Did we spread the fire? Not yet. But we did burn the rest of the town. The barricades will help connect different sectors, and we should be able to get a nice settlement damage on top of that for morale. Night Battle, of course, being a thing already. We're just missing. Not surprised. Our tribute haven't been super accurate. Alright. Because we're not so accurate, we're going to move it closer to this target here. Try to get a good shot. The closer we are, the less it's spread and more likely we hit it. And then we're going to have to take down some of these walls to open up a gap for our troops. Oh, we're going to be fighting on this side, away from that tower, so we don't have to deal with this range. Their morale is so crippled by the night battle already. I think if we actually go for a settlement destruction tactic, we can probably pull it off. There's enough shots on these to burn the rest of the town. Alright, they're kind of in position. Maybe they can just go for it now. And if we get lucky, one volley is really all we need. Yep, that's all we need. Now we kind of want to wait till that burns off a little before we start crashing the walls. Patience. There we go. Alright, switch ammo for the wall hits. There's barely a single archer here. We're gonna run these guys up just in case the archers want to shoot at something. Of course with melee calves we still have the missile resistance, we still have the insanely high range block chance. So that works pretty much the same whether you're playing records mode or romance mode and they can waste away all the enemy missiles. We don't want to be too close to the wall in case one of their shots miss and uh, we hit our own guy. They're going to be next. Let's get them, let's get them ready. Why are the archers not shooting? Alright. They're so close, they might be going for the siege weapons now, I'm worried. If you look at the range, it's pretty close to the edge. Stay, stay back for now. Alright, 
that, that wall is going to come down. I'm still surprised why this unit is not shooting. Probably break this entire section and then shoot a couple fire shots to try to burn the rest of the town. Mm, if there's no unit to kill, maybe we don't keep firing like that. One shot here. So we could start moving the crossbow units. Alright, nicely armored cataphract, perfect target. Might need to move up a bit. Peasant bands? could actually damage us, might as well shoot them out. Even though they're not firing back right now. No angle. Let's see if we can extend a shot deep. We should also shoot the generals. Fire potential. Oh, 
I think we still shoot him, shoot the cavalry. The rest we can prepare for a cavalry charge ourselves. Well, they slipped out. Oh, they're just they're just sending them okay Great targets. He's gonna die, for sure. I'll make sure we kill him. Alright, we're gonna block anyone trying to come out here. Pick up some kills. See if we can block this. This will just let the cavalry kill. about friendly fire here. Alright, I think we can just kill that. They are so resilient here. Alright, we can just wipe that out. Perfect. How is he still alive? Okay, we're gonna have to work on a flank here. Oh, ooh, that's not good. We, we might have to adjust here. Missile resistant, but I think we still have enough shots to kill him. Yep, that was close. Alright, stay back, stay back. We're good. Alright, they killed him. Pull it back so we don't get killed by that. get a hit on that. Maybe we can go in here and just fire well. That pathing's not great. Oh, at least they can clear that. Alright, you go pick that off. Got the hit. We can burn their towns that are down too. Okay, there we go. There we go. Can't really chase that. We're chasing into a tower. Uh, not yet. Quick volley here, maybe a couple hits here. We'll let our range do the job here. 
All right, they're done. Pull them back. Just pound that guy. Gotta peel him back. Tower's starting to hit us. And yeah, they're gonna bounce back, but we'll see if we can kill them with that. Actually, we're just going to stay here and shoot this way. It's fine. We'll send him over here. Uh, he's already engaged. I mean, technically, it looks like we should be able to hit some of them from the back here. We don't worry that much about friendly fire and such. But it doesn't look like they're firing, so we might have to send some flanking units. Alright, they're not great at that. We'll use the cavalry. Oh, here comes their general. And he's gone. I'm gonna block it all the way up here. See what they can do against him. Alright, we'll send a couple more in. Also should send these two at the archers who's going to be coming back. So you can hit him. Chase! Chase! What are they doing? Yeah, pathing is still a nightmare here. Don't want to shoot him anymore. Now it's going to be friendly fire. Maybe shoot him? We might not win that. He needs help. Okay, he doesn't need help. Oh, these have so many units. Yeah, just pathing's not super good. I don't actually think I want to charge over there with three archers that could hit us. He can go attack them, but like I clicked, the pathing is just 
Do I need to guide them? Yeah, the spear is gonna make quick work here. Looks like army loss is kicking in. We got this, finally. Alrighty. Not too bad. I think we fought this one pretty much as efficiently as we can. We could have swapped the leading general if we wanted to capture Zhang Feng, but even if we do, I'm probably going to execute him. Just personally don't like him very much. He lives. We didn't kill him in the battle. Alright. Their building is automatically converted to our version, which is not very good. And we're okay with private workshop as long as we get an inn in here, which we will. We might do it here to speed up their replenishment. Ooh, another trade route. Not sure if we can take advantage of another trade route. Increase speed of our own retinue, which is quite good given that we are full cavalry now. Plus two noble support, faction wide, plus morale when defending, unbreakable on Smadlin himself. We haven't put him in danger at all, so I don't think we need that. We might work towards this speed right now. It'll be the first thing we get. Might as well build it. We have the cash. Depending on if they show up with the army here, we'll decide where we're going to go next turn. But that's a decent advance. We would like... Probably just a conscription here. Mm, doesn't feel cheap to build them this year. I don't think we have... Oh, we do have it. Okay, so... If we do have it, I think we go for it. He did get hired, which is great. But we don't have anyone in the proper position. I can't really do any discredit faction. I can lower him to 23. And we'll see if he... Oh, nice. We have the administrator of Hedong, 65 points. That's enough to flip it over. Maybe next turn? Feels like he should be able to do it soon. Maybe he can't just do it on the same turn, but we can grab Hedong, which is great. We still want him. Plus 19. Yeah, he is not able to be selected. Daivong. Hmm, our faction to the north. Uh, we spent all our money. Let's see, we have plus 106. We hit over 50. We should use it. With who? We now are pretty much sharing a border with them. Let's see if they are rich. He is not. Not a good target for this. Anything else we can combine the deal with? Non-aggression. I'm not sure if I want non-aggression with them. Eventually, I think we want to wipe them. Oh, they got wiped pretty much by Smawe. These all look tiny, tiny factions. We want a bigger faction to pay us. He does not make money, does he? I'm ready, I'm ready taking his cash. He's not going to have much to take. I'm ready taking his cash. I don't think anyone's going to be wealthy. Oh, a marriage. Oh, he is wealthy. This will technically all be incest. 14.8. Okay. Wealthy, but stingy. We'll take it, though. Are we worried about getting another war declared on us? At this point, we're pretty strong. 
We have food deals with them. We have food deals with them. We have food deals. Oh, yeah, we're, we're fine. They're not going to tear up these treaties. Okay, a new army summoned here. Their main army is over there in Yobeiping. Alright, we got hit by faction council events. Building damage in Taiyuan. Interesting note is that Sima Yun was actually the Prince of Taiyuan for a bit. Oh, we have very serious fires. That's a lot of money that we have to spend to repair these. Before he became the Prince of Hezian. I mean, both are commandery level titles. Uh, it's expensive, but we have all the proper channels. We don't have another assignment set up here, but I mean, that's fine. I can boost the replenishment a little bit. I don't know if it's going to make it. Yeah, it'll make a difference. We'll pick up Ping We can't reach it. It's like we're going to be short. Alright, we did pick this up. We are 125%, which is a nice number. It's particularly nice for the five turn ones because it goes down to four turn. For it to go down to three turns, we would need to be in or closer to two, like 160 something percent. Here for the six turn ones that are now five turns because of 100, anything above 120% would be five turns. Once we get to 150%, these would be four turns. That's actually going to be the most efficient time to do these. So I think we want to clean up some of the first tier ones before we move on to the second tier ones. Um, building discounts, tier four buildings, tier four. These are not going to be built. These are silk and spice. Um, but character salary decrease is a decent amount of saving. We can go for that. We can shuffle the court. We have an extra administrator after picking up the last reform. We probably want it in Pingyuan. We don't have a good candidate, though. Uh, she's okay. 13%. Low expertise. We can maybe change that a little bit. We can steal this. Seventeen percent plus five, twenty-two percent. Yeah, we don't have any better choices. I could spend a bit of money to give our last son a wife. Let's see if she's any better. Sort of, about the same, to be honest. So let's throw her in here. She already has the industry one. We're just going to build a little bit cheaply here. Got the assignment down. Taiyuan is still building up. I'm going to throw her in here. We can do the income one as well. It's also a possibility. Give her a few levels. We need to move to be able to hit them next turn. I can't really see if there's a... Yeah, there's no army. What we'll ambush? Not sure if we want to invest in that building. We just don't have a lot of cash on hand. Alright, we can pick up Hodun right here. That's beautiful. That's really all we wanted. He's going to be coming back to us, and we just expanded to a very lucrative commandery. Don't want that building. That's great. Now, we technically want the administrator here now. Uh, we can put it in Ping Man. Ping is not terrible. It's not as good as Hodong, but it's not terrible. When can we get the next one? Right, Either we go to Grand Prince, which takes a while. Or there might be another reform that gets us another administrator. Right here, which also requires Grand Prince. 
Mm, we might have to do a little bit of court flipping. Can't flip her this turn. But I can flip her next turn. And then get someone else in there. Or get her back in there. Do a little flip flop. Yeah, that sounds about right. Alright, what little cash we have left. Not sure if we want to use these on this bonus. I think we're good. Coalition to restore Hom... Uh, we, we were in a coalition with them, historically speaking, before we became Emperor and then they just turned on us. I don't particularly want this, because we are probably going to expand down towards them after we take the north, so we don't want to be stuck. Black Serpent Superstitious Event. Ouch. But he's our Prime Minister, or he's our advisor, so I, I doubt he will be angry at us. Probably going to make him a uh, Simon character. Just go down the row here. Yeah, he's still super happy with us. No worries. Our spy came back. Thank you for giving us Hedong. I I don't hate him actually. Energetic plus march uh, reach and flexibility already. Immune to scaring. Plus four cover gain a spy. That's pretty good. He's not willing to spy anymore. Recent event. He's bringing a faction discredit to us. That's the problem. Uh, I mean, we have him, which is pretty similar, so I don't think we need him. Goodbye. All right, and we're going to shift her to this. Then we'll be able to put her in. Oh, don't. Oh, we could have squeezed out another build cheaper. It's not a lot of money. It's going to be fine. They summoned another general to die here. have to fight these to keep our army healthy. Gotta fight their main army sometime. We also might have to worry about their army sailing down, so we might push this army up to the fishing port in Bohai first to secure that, and then we'll see where their main army is before we decide to take Nanpi, which is the, the city there in Bohai. Probably just here or here. This looks fine. Nice and narrow for us to bombard. We don't have vision because of the angle. We'll bring down the towers and then we'll push some units up to sea. Actually, we can push some units up to sea. We can do a blockade of sorts. We got kills, so there's units there. Oh, they're charging out. Never mind. New plan. Now we're getting them on fire. Alright, cavalry ready. Oh, they're not charging at our... They're just trying to flank. Okay, that's a terrible idea by them. Alright, General Crush on this side. Pull them back out. Mm, 
he's gone in too deep. Doesn't need to be that deep. I right, got him out. Okay, never mind. We don't need to set anyone in. Just let our siege weapons do its thing. Shut that down. Now shut that down. I think it's over. I don't think they have anything left after he routes. Yep. That was nice. They had an uphill battle. Very narrow. Really nothing they could do there. They Alright, so I still don't see their main army. But we're going to take this next, which is probably a two-turn process again, since our movement is just not great. We're making a lot more money now. Okay, it's going to take a turn before we can get her in here. But we can build some of the cheaper stuff, like Private Workshop. I see if we are flexing our wealth, we could upgrade some of these things. Even this. We have the cheaper build for this year. Oh, this should be this. Might have made a mistake there. Alright. No one available? All right, we do want to work on him. Jing Zhao. Is it? Yeah, I think it is Jing. They, wait, they don't have that. Then where is this? Jing Cheng. It's over here. I want that. I mean, it's kind of far, but it's a nice lucrative area. Can't target anyone. There we go, finally someone. We got him. We got our guy. We can pick up Jincheng over here. Now it's going to give us a very weird border, but I think it's fine. I think it's going to be just fine. And this is how we're going to slowly steal all their land. Feels like we can maybe send someone else in there as another general, because they, they're losing people left and right. Maybe we can slot a new guy in to become the next administrator they're going to assign and so forth. All right, we're making a ton of money, but we've been doing that at the expense of our action support goes down. Yeah, we're going to try to fix that a little bit. all the builds we are gonna gain 206 for the spy activities that we have done which means we can steal more cash from a faction six turns on that he is just a little poor 
from what I remember. Oh no, he's fixed that. 14.0. Oh, so close. Yeah, our mechanic is kind of broken. And we're only cashing out right now. We can make deals happen in the future. Like, you know, annexes, vassalages. He wants to quit. No, I want to take all his land. This probably means he has an army on the borders and ready to strike us. He's just giving us... Yeah, there we go. That's what's happening. Uh, so we see he's here. First things first. I'm gonna give her a better sword for administrator. I'm gonna shift her back into Cloton. There we go. He has a great weapon that we would love to have. No siege weapons on any of the general, which means he takes at least a turn to attack our settlements. His movement is currently on march. Jalfon's back on the field. Has a gold armor that we would like to have. Once again, we can't reach. We might bait him into coming to Pingyuan. That's going to be the goal. Oh, he's been fired. No. They fired him. How? All right. Asked to become administrator. Uh, so close. I thought we were going to get Jinchong. Okay. Let's see what he does. He might go for this. Not that scared. I think it's a little late to recruit. Maybe not. What would we need to beat this army? Not a huge fan of these guys. I don't think they're very good. We go cheap. Well, I need more cavalry unit, to be honest. If we recruit these, we can use them to counterattack and we can just push this army up. No fire arrows, so crossbow it is. Alright, the goal is for them to take Bohai for us. Alright, we definitely can afford it. We're, we're totally fine. We're gonna overflow again. Who has cash? They don't look like they have cash, but we'll, we'll check. Oh, they make a lot, actually. Wow. The trade deal that we gave them. Definitely paying off. 17.6. I mean, our economy is basically based off these deals. We're getting 4,000 plus a turn just from using our subterfuge. Alright, let's see what they do. Falling to our ambush would make things easier. Yeah, I was suspecting he goes there. We push Yuan Xiao. Winter season? Yeah, I guess. I mean it's technically New Year. It's it's the 15th day after the Lunar New Year, so it's usually in like early February or late January sometimes. Oh! Who's administrator? 
Oh, he got restored. That's great. Thank you. Thank you for the land. And we have silk as well. Now we have some new neighbors that we might have to be concerned about. Hmm. Let's see if we could uh, give them a lease of food. We don't want them to turn on us. Right, they don't make very much. I don't want non-aggression because eventually I want to go take their land. If we give them two food and make them just pay us a little bit more. There we go. Our other neighbor, I believe, is Smawe. Who we still have five turns of food deal. Well, actually, technically food four. He could declare war on that turn where it goes away. He's expanded quite a lot. Yeah, this is slightly concerning, to be honest. But we're happy to take that. I actually want to burn that down, put a state workshop in here. Mm, gonna just take half the money. Because this is the last turn we get that 20% discount, so I'm gonna just queue that up. We can fight this cleanly, and then it doesn't matter if there's a whole army right there. Worst case scenario is they have another full stack somewhere, which I don't think is the case. And then we get double team. That could ruin us. But if not, we're going to double team them next turn by sending our army, both of our armies, to attack him at Wuhan. Alright, we caught Zhang Fang in a bad place again. They're gonna charge out. Yeah, stay inside. It's just death sentence for them. Why creep up? Why creep up? This guy's so confused. Just fire. Thank you. Not a good place to come out. Spear warriors, crossbow kill that quite easily. Send them up for the enemy archers to shoot at. And then have them ready to flank if we need to send something out. Alright, find your own target now. Writing fire back at us. Don't actually have to finish the charge. We hit this. Oh, 
just have to move them a little. They're not firing at us. Alright, got rid of that. Now get back on hitting these. Heal that out. Some spear units right there. Alright. Your T unit is gone. Get these in the back. Grab that. Doesn't look braced. Push up. I think it's going to be over. We wipe out the one out here. Leave the crossbow to kill these on the inside. He's ready routed. Negative 22 morale. Just not processed yet. I think he still lives. Well, that's fine. We caught him. This is the execute for the dragon skill. Right, now he's caught between us. Seems like that's all the territory he has left. He could come siege us, but that would only be a siege. He can't attack right away because he has no siege weapons. He can also come back to hit us here, but we're very healthy. So it would just be a straight up fight and we get some towers to help us. I don't think he has a great option. Alright, what can we do in terms of buildings? We still have a slightly cheaper build for this turn. We're going to utilize that. That's a fine build. Just going to go with the more expensive option wherever we can. He's our next target. We'll use... Use him as a proxy here for that. Ooh, we need money. We need money. Someone give us cash. We want a cash deal. All right, how about you pay us? So we can turn one of your guys into our turncoat and steal more land from you. 14.1. Oh, everything is less than 14 point. Wow. Let's lock in one food. I don't want them to turn on us. And... And... Uh... Wow. Deceive is... Way too strong. Alright, who do we want? We want Jamo, right? Administrator of Liao Dong, I'm guessing, or Liao Si. So we get this piece, which is great. We can grab one of the others later too, after he comes back to us. And he still has those administrator slots, so he's going to assign more, and then we can steal those land too. So basically, they're going to be working for us. And we can beat the Zen Empire without actually fighting the Zen Empire because it's, they have too much strong <laughs> units. No. We're going to work by ourselves. Let's see what he doesn't move, so now we get to destroy him. Okay, one of our other spies coming back. Intercept a missive. Valuable information. Untruth about us. Send the message on, we become unpopular, but we get to reduce the cost of spies, reduce the undercover now. Oh, that's actually quite good. And we do want to work on mind. Yeah, it's fine for unpopular. Disloyal, we're gonna pass on that. 
He's back. Oh, he's a Burn General. Excellent. So we sent him out, and then he's back, and then we don't need him. He's decent, actually. He's decent. We can keep him, but I don't want to give him armor right now. Until he comes on the field. We can build a new army around him, given the Burn trait. So, Neldon will be ours. Looks like Nelsi is also available. That character is not available. So we need 60 points to take the territory, which means we have 35 extra we can use for something else. Maybe a discredit character on this new guy. And then 10 points on... I guess we don't have to be hyper-efficient. Thank you, Leldon. Nice, we secured that. Nope, can't get another spy in, but that's fine. And we picked up this. So Nelsie's also theirs. Oh, they're selling food here. We don't want that. It takes a little bit of build up. Now we just have to wipe them out. So if we want to be hyper efficient, they take them, solo them, and we take this, and then we just basically end them in one turn. However, I don't think this army can actually solo them. Yep. And that's why we have two armies. This means we won't be able to get that until next turn. Oh, actually fight this out? It's going to be pretty ugly. I think at this point, given that we will easily win, we're just going to delegate this away. There's also, like, no chance of capture on any of these guys. He might be able to resummon himself. We'll see if he wants to do that. Right, this army's not too bad. We can still get there next turn. I want him to summon himself again. I don't know if he can do that. This army did its thing. She is administrator, so what we're going to do, depending on what we get here, a commerce boost, mm, not bad. We need to shift a Grand Commandant over. Additional builds in Zhongshan, we want a better commandery. Jinchan's fine, good choice. Kodong would be also fine, peasantry, this would just hurt our industry really hard if we go double negative hunt like double minus 50 on the industry this is fine we have a decent amount of commerce now trade influence is also helpful yeah our income actually went down by five industry is still our biggest driver all right so let's see what we got here we're gonna swap these out i don't want her to go into her administrator job with axe bands would like to give her something more expensive and delegate a little better, which might mean we go with the Dull Sword Guard, even though they're not great units, but they would definitely delegate better than Axe Bands. Alright, so we, we would pay for these. She's working where? Hedong. Okay, so there's a chance we can do a title flip as well. Hedong has a little bit of commerce. So what we can do is give her General of the Left for recruiting. Then we can go grab some units and flip the title. I don't think we're recruiting on anyone else. Give her the commerce boost. Recall her. We don't have to pay the upkeep for those units, and they basically get to go join the army. Now, she is a pretty bad general. I think a tactic we could use so that we don't waste money on this is we get her killed and then have him come in and take over. So we leave her on the field, maybe have her join us in the last fight. Over here, there's no reason she should be a general, so these can just go and then we just send her back. She's just going to be a wife, nothing wrong with that. I think she's actually our wife. Right, we leave her on the field. 
Yeah, once again, we're going to wait for that 150%. We're going to just bag everything else on the top row here first. We could get another spy slot, actually. Hmm. We're not really short on slots. We're, we're short on characters we can turn. That's a bad choice. That's a bad choice. T. Hmm. Usually I don't build that, but... Uh, they already have it. No reason for us to turn it back. Um, until we get our own T resources, I, I just don't think it's a stable play. The moment we lose that trade route, you know, it hurts us so so much. We had to flip every building. Just a lot of work. It's going to be difficult to keep this safe. We might have to invest in an army there. But first, let's wipe out Smayo. I'm uh, not going to go to a city build. Alrighty. Yeah, that's just faction support. That will even out. Everywhere else, it looks good enough. Yeah, to at least do one tier. Overflow by about a hundred. No, actually by eight points. That's fine. We'll accept that. We don't have to be that efficient. And that's it. Please summon yourself back on the field. Nope. He is going to go to the recruitment pool. So someone's going to pick him up. We don't have to wait. Han Wang. He's in Han Zhong. Yep, he is in Hanjo. I I do want a good relationship, given that he's kind of close to us. We can start with a non-aggression pack. One food is always nice to secure that relationship, and then just ask for cash, I guess. Alright, a couple things. He doesn't need to be doing that anymore. Don't think he has anything. Liao Xi, he's our new target, but he seems very happy. All right, they're running out of characters at court. I'm going to send some new guys there to see if we can have them get hired and have them made into administrators. Because uh, we're running out of zero, zero. All right, here's the, here's the interesting thing, right? I'm going to take a look at this the, the amount here. Eight points. 80 point, 100 point. I want to see if this action is worth any points at all. Because technically then we get infinite points, right? For taking each action. Okay, so that one doesn't count. Uh, he is not being used. Yeah, we, we try to get to a military one and try to get a administrator one afterwards. Um... I mean, we're short on cover. So there's really not there's really not much we can do. That's okay. We sent two spies over there. See if that can yield us anything. Future administrator. Can you march? Perfect. 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 So we get her killed. And then build a new army off of her unit there. And the beauty of this is we don't have to go to war with the Jay Empire. 
We just have to keep trying to get spies in the right position. So Hexi, Guangyang, these two commanders in the north, we can take those from that. Now the Princedom of Dai is an interesting question. I don't know if we should just wipe them, keep them, and just keep that trade deal with them. All right, we want the reinforcement to get here. But that's not a great attack angle. This is the best place to attack. Actually, we can attack from here. We just have to crack this wall open. Yeah, this way we're closer to the reinforcements. We're probably gonna have to wait for that reinforcement a little bit. This is fine. There you are. Please ride up. I actually think there is a foolproof way of getting her killed. And we're gonna see if we can pull that off. Uh, we're gonna let her wait. The idea is we're gonna put her on the wall, and then we're gonna break that wall, and she just dies to the collapse. But first, we need to break open the gap. Well, that wall came down already. We still haven't destroyed that yet. There we go. Now we can move up. The trick is, how do we get her on this wall, right? She would have to get in there, and then dismount, and then walk up there. Which could be a little bit difficult. We might have to open it up a little bit more. gate broke. Yeah, her morale is a little bit low. I'm not sure if I can squeeze her in here without her routing before getting on top of the wall. And obviously they wouldn't just sit still. So I might have to open up the area for her. Do they even have ammo? They have a little bit of ammo. Okay. Alright, they finally got that wall down. Alright, with this plan, we don't need her to actually fight anyone. They're nice and clump, clump together here. There is the enemy general. It's like bowling, in a sense. The type of bowling that gets you kicked out of the alley for throwing the bowling ball way too high. They're not even responding there. That's fine. Archer's not really doing anything. They're coming up. I don't think we can pull that move yet. And wait. All right, they're done. Get back. Yeah, now our crossbowman's gonna murder them. Now 
that should leave an opening for her to get on the wall. Or not. Their, sh their shields not blocked the right way. They still get 50% missile resistance, but but they get killed. Alright, here comes the tricky part. Get them on the wall. Stop firing. Now is the most important part of this battle. Back up. Right here. There we go. Perfect. Now we just win with crossbows. No one's gonna stop this many crossbows. Uh, we can move up a little. Maybe. And the pathing nightmare continues, but aside from that. Great. I mean, we can fight them. Help is coming. Push through. There we go. Alright, we got pretty much everything we wanted from that battle. Wiped out Samayun's faction. We got rid of our strategists. And we should be able to switch the general onto that. There we go, she dies. And we have... Uh, he did have Imperial, but that, we're not going to use that unit. Perfect. And we'll end our episode here. Yeah, these are all Din Empire territories. We'll try to steal that. This we probably have to buy, which is fine. This we can use Administrator to steal. This we can use Administrator to steal. And then we're just going to decide what we want to do with this faction here. We could keep them. They look friendly enough. So now we turn our eyes on another prince, Samatyo, as we'll come down next. All the Din Empire territories, we're just going to pretty much ignore and try to pick them off using our spies. And we might also consider setting up army over here and work our way down. But perhaps this is the better play. There are just many small factions, also Sama Yue is also in the area, that we can take control of, control the border, and then go down south and figure out the rest. We are still pretty far away from Grand Prince, but we'll build things up. We might go slightly taller build and see how we deal with that. Uh, as for the Emperor, once we take enough of the land from the Din Empire, we can go and destroy them for good. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and see you all next time. Bye!